That was annoying. Can I redip my head in wax now that that guy's dead? Because I'm gonna need to, because I've spent so much time mucking around. Yep, cool. I'm gonna re-wax my face. There we go. I'm trying to keep an eye out for invasion signs, but I realise I haven't, I haven't said I'm actually playing on Twitter, which means that people aren't going to put it down. There's someone in particular, there's an invasion, like, dueling sign I'm looking out for, but, uh, which I apparently totally missed last time. You know who you are, I'm really sorry. <laughs> that, that was, uh, that was my bad. Okay, so we got, we got Candle Muck Idiot here that needs a good old stabbing. Good. And we got, I don't know, slightly more chilled out Candle Person here. But we still have that on our head, so we are still immune to all this book nonsense. As soon as that goes off our head, it's really, really bad and we take a lot of damage, so... Keep an eye, we've got to keep an eye out for waxing areas. Right, Crystal Sage is going to give us some jip over there. Gonna run away, like a huge coward. Get the item. I've got to be aware of where that thing is. Keep the ladder down so I can make a shortcut, which is good. Not sure where that goes. But, uh, those crystal shots are very, very nasty. We do not want to be on the receiving end of any of those, preferably. Yo! Loser! Okay. Oh, we run out. Okay, our head is unwaxed now, so I have to be very careful. Okay, I think we can approach the sage from up here. Not... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, right. Sage has moved. He's not sure where he is now. He's over there, perhaps? Dead ahead? Yeah, dead ahead from us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is head back down. Leave them being angry up there. For some reason, I seem to be taking very little damage. Never mind. Took a crystal shot to the face. Hey guys. Here we go, that's what I'm looking for. Missed. Waxing area. Now, I don't think we can take damage while we're doing this, which is useful. Good. Trust me, I might. this might look stupid, but it is incredibly, incredibly useful. The second I don't have this on me is, well, bad times. Oh, that crystal sage needs to die, and it is so, so annoying. I need to keep an eye on his shots. I'll keep an eye on this guy's shots. I'm just basically going to, I'm slowly but short, ooh. I'm slowly but surely removing all p Oh, fuck. Ow. Oh god, I'm stuck. That is bad. Heal. Uh. Oh, Christ. You are a nuisance. Die already. This part of the game I found was actually one of the hardest. Oh, Christ. Sorry. That's my phone. Sorry. Two seconds. Sorry about that. Right. Let's head up and not get mauled. Although I've now might have redipped my head again. Have I missed have I missed one? Oh. Oh. Ah! Okay. Everything in here wants you dead, and it is a friggin' nightmare. <laughs> okay. Good. I need to get round to that sage, if I can. Luckily, I'm still waxed up for now. I don't know how long I've got, though. If we can just get that sage dead, and I'm pretty sure... We can just drop down to the bridge and do it. Let's wait for a good opportunity. Come on, die already. There we go. Right. Now this big bad boy's out of the way. It's going to get much, much easier. Okay, right. Now, I did miss an illusionary wall to do that. I don't know if I can go up and get it again. Uh, I assume I can, but I'm not 
I'm not super fussed about that right now. Can I get a sneak attack up on this guy? No, that'd be too... Oh good, he's got a magic weapon. It's a crystal weapon, even better. It's even harder. You are kidding me! Oh god, I hate these guys so much! Two hits and it takes you out. That's so frustrating. Okay, I did drop a ladder down at least, so I might be able to quickly get up there and get my stuff. Damn. These enemies, this, these late-game enemies are really, really, really unforgiving. And while I'm missing a little bit of armor, it shouldn't be enough that it should just completely insta-give me like that, but... Hey. Okay. Now, I dropped that ladder down somewhere. I think it might be in the next room. At least I might have a bit of a shortcut around here somewhere. Uh, this way, maybe? Nope. Although, an item. That's always nice. I mean, the fact I can do this without the sage is going to make this a bit easier, of course, as well. Right, do you want to come down here, chum? Right, and the ladder should be in here, I guess? No, really, I have no idea. I should have probably gone down that ladder to see where it took me. Hmm. Never mind. Seriously, where where would that be? Is that it over there? No. That's the bridge where the sage was, I think. Oh, bollocks it. I'll just run up. Won't take that long. Go over this way. Again, not getting shot at now, so of course this makes this a little bit easier. I can ignore some I can ignore some of the non casting ones. Uh, there isn't that many, I don't think. Ah, there is a switch, however, that I should have pulled, probably. Aha, maybe that's where... No, no idea. Well, still. Probably quite useful. Yeah, none of that, mate. Alright, got you two down here. We'll re-dip our head quickly. Someone's mumbling up there. So I don't care who mumbles, if the sage is dead, this entire area just gets infinitely easier because we're not really fighting for our lives every two seconds. Because the spells he uses are just unpleasant. As you probably saw, it's like trying to be in a blender with, like, I don't know, Mr. Muscle or something. Okay, now we need to kill this one here. I don't really need to go that way. What I can do is just head this way. Now we've got a big guy up here with a sword. If you want to deal with. There's two, in fact. You first. Ow. Oop. Right, nice. Now there is a way I can go around here. And it's through... Pardon me. And I can go through this illusionary wall. Now, I'm super wary about doing this. Even though there's good items hidden behind it. Because there's one of those ice knights. And he's in there. And he is super, super strong. And I don't want to lose my souls. I know that's like super cowardly, but hey. Ooh, items. Any dudes down here before I get mauled? No, nothing that exciting. What's over here? Ah, here we go. We're back here, are we? Okay, you know what? Bollocks to him. It ain't worth the hassle. Just need to get through this area in one piece. Which honestly is also easier said than done because there's some other bits coming up which make this nice and hard too. Yeah, bulls to you. We do unlock a shortcut relatively soon as well. Which is nice. This isn't it, I don't think. Oh wait, maybe it is this. I'll just find out where this goes. Also, if you could please uh, call Lady Kiko her waxiness, that'd be great. Alright, there's something hideous on the side of this, isn't there? Okay. Guys, whenever you're ready. 
<laughs> Can you not come through here or something? Ugh. Okay, but if you see, we are back to the start where the bonfire is. So we've kind of cut off a little bit. I did unlock that shortcut thing earlier, but eh, details. Not too worried about that right now. What I do want to do is continue exploring. How do you get all sooty anyway? Honestly. I was rolling around on the dust, probably. Okay, now, this area is... Uh, we're not quite done with the area here, but... Ah, now we haven't got any wax, so this makes this entire section just evil. Now, I think what we can do is ignore all of this. Oh, this one's a real one. Yeah. Cool. We can ignore all of these dudes quickly. Slay. Slay him. I think we can come back there once we... I think there's a waxing... Like, pool up here somewhere. Could be imagining things. But either way... See, this is what happens. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's what happens. You get instantly cursed. Now, do I actually have a curse ring? I have a dark one in... Do I have curse bite? Flesh bite. Just want to have curse bite. Never mind, that'll do. So that'll raise up curse resistance anyway. Now, every time we see those books open, those things come out, they'll curse us, and we get mauled. And I, ha I basically have to sit here now and wait for the curse bar to go down. I actually don't like this as a mechanic. I don't think it's a very interesting one. I like the idea that you have to... You can time it between the waxes, I guess, but I just think the whole unavoidable or difficult to avoid damage that can instantly kill you is kind of irritating. You can roll to avoid some of it, as you can see, but it's not ideal. Yeah, I've just skipped some bits, haven't I? Yeah, I have. This takes us out onto the roof. Uh, this area is really big, actually. I forgot how big it was. Nice view of the city, though. And those horrible tree men thing. Now, this area is uh, full of terrors. Very big, obnoxiously gargoyle-looking terrors. Which will probably one-shot me. I don't know if there's actual point coming out here or not. I can't quite remember. I think there is. I think this leads us around to where we want to go. Hello. Come on, Em. These guys care little for lightning damage, as you can probably imagine. But we can get them reasonably easy. We just gotta take it carefully. They're not bad by themselves, they're pretty manageable. Any more, it's bad. Like over here, there's two lizards, however, I'm pretty sure there's a gargoyle on the other side of that. And I just wanna get for the area for now. I can always come back and lizard farm later if necessary when I know where we are. Also, Dick McGee there with his magical super damage sword, in which I'm actually gonna human myself for this. Just so I got more health. Carefully, carefully. Oh. Oh, come on. Damn, those things are mean. Okay, right. We're on the upper area of where we were before. If you can see, there's the bit where I legged it through. Which is nice. However, as you can see, well, they're not going to do it. I don't think there's any way through this without angering the evil books. All these guys. Is there any more? Any more I need to watch out for? No, no. Good. What gets nasty is when you do this, one drops behind you. And then you roll into some books. It's like a sort of how-to guide to fail miserably. Luckily, there is a waxing pod. Whoop. Now I can go down and deal with those horrible freaks. And also get myself a shortcut, I believe. Which is here. Doink. Speaking of horrible freaks. Yeah, yeah. Eat me. Oh, an undead bone shard. Very nice. Gets us some more flasks. This leads us back out onto the roof uh, around here. Uh, it 
basically brings us back to where near where the gargoyles were for a few items. There's nothing, as far as I know, there's nothing essential around there that I remember. I'm going to ignore it for now. Uh, simply because there's a, there's a lot of like superfluous sort of areas and items in here that just aren't that interesting or not really relevant. Like, I think of examples like Soul of an Undead Warrior, that kind of thing. Whereas honestly, I'm not really hurting for souls. This area would it hugely, hugely sucks if you are uh, not waxing, so to speak. As you can see, this area is much more manageable now. I can just walk through it. Now, this next bit, I'm not particularly looking forward to. I might use the miracle if I got enough juice. Yeah, I do. Doesn't last long enough, but it'll do. This next area is a PvP arena. I hate to normally spoil, but I am going to die here. And if I can finish someone off in the first attempt, then it gets a bit better. But if I can't, that's where this gets tricky. There's three of them. They all come at you at once. Now, the healer at the back, is, or the mage at the back, is the biggest problem. Now, if you can take that one out quickly, it's less, less of a problem. Problem is they drink, so I need to basically go up here, ignore these two, and stab her. And again, if I can get this one out, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, infinitely more manageable now. Right, you, you with the... Right, let's keep an eye on them. Right, they do have a few Estus Flasks, like I do. This guy's dressed up in the Loth... Not Lothric, uh, Drang Lake armor, which is interesting. Another benefit of this, actually. Stop that. You, stop that. Stop it. Ow. He's out of healing. And he's not dead, but neither am I, so... Oh, I will be, though, unless I heal quickly. There we go, and again. Right. No, you don't kick. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That went really well, actually. That was tricky. I know that might not look difficult, I guess, but it gave me a lot of grief the first time I did that. And I had to kind of work out the best way of doing it, which was make sure you kill the mage. I know this seems obvious. Always go for the one in the dress, right? But hey. And now... We have unlocked another shortcut. And that's where we're going to stop it today, actually. I'm going to show you where this pops out, and then we're going to stop. Because the next part is a boss, and I want to get people involved in that and things, and as usual. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky sections. And we are back at this bonfire. It goes all the way to the top, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to have to probably level up after this as well. So um, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the set. Uh, next time, we got some bosses. And the la they are the last... Uh, Lords of Ember that we need. Then we got an optional area or two. Uh, one optional area. And then another optional area. Then the final boss. I think. Roughly. So we're not that far from the end now. Thank you very much. And until uh, then.